The top story this hour, the Reserve Bank of India has just released its report on trends and progress made in the banking sector. Saloni has been going through that report. She's going to take us through some details. Saloni, especially NPA concerns, uh, just to tell us exactly uh, if that's been addressed as well. Uh, that's right, Abba. That's the highlight of this report. Now, what clearly they are saying, RBI is maintaining that NPAs will continue uh, to remain a pressure point even uh, in uh, this current fiscal year and going forward. Now, what they're exactly saying uh, is that through the year, they have uh, seen deterioration in asset quality. Also, uh, what they are saying is there has been rise in impairment, which has been coupled with drop in profitability. Also, what they are saying is the leverage uh, that a lot of corporates has seen has has impacted uh, several banks because we've seen a lot of large accounts uh, turning into NPAs and that is what RBI is saying. RBI is also saying that they have, in terms of CDR and the concerns around entire corporate uh, debt restructuring, we've seen a lot of uh, talk about that. We, uh, RBI has said they have seen a sharp increase when it comes to restructuring under CDR. One main important point here on SBI and the PSU banks, what they're seen is a deterioration in asset qualities was most perceptible in SBI and SBI uh, group banks. Also, what they're saying is PSU banks, as compared to private banks, have seen a larger fall uh, in asset quality, which is going to remain a concern. So what about banking licenses as well, Saloni? So much has been spoken about these in the past. Uh, anything in the report? A couple of points. So what they uh, have uh, been reiterating over the last few weeks, uh, they have said uh, that they will issue uh, these licenses soon uh, and it will be done in a transparent manner. Uh, what they have also said is, uh, like we heard uh, the finance minister talking last week, they have said that they will focus on differential licensing and uh, give out licenses to banks which are working on a different model as compared to, uh, you know, clones uh, that they are operating currently in the banking system. So clearly, uh, what they have uh, clearly said is that as soon as possible and by uh, Jan uh, next year is what they expect the deadline to be. Any indication on policy responses, the way going forward as well, any kind of guidance? Uh, monetary policy, what they have said is that they will be uh, watching out data points and macroeconomic indicators that uh, uh, the RBI keenly watches and the monetary policy stance will be balanced between both uh, growth and inflation because what they see is that inflation concerns are high and they will have to balance uh, monetary policy uh, going forward. A couple of guidance uh, that they have given is uh, that banks will be expected to lend to uh, productive sectors in the economy because of the, a lot of concerns regarding banks not lending to SME and MSME sector. Uh, so that also RBI has highlighted. But going forward, what they have said is that monetary, monetary policy will continue to balance between growth and inflation. Okay. And what about capital inclusion and, and uh, Basel III norms? Uh, what they have said is that by 2018, banks will require almost over 4 uh, uh, trillion uh, rupees uh, that will be uh, induced in uh, PSU banks to meet Basel by 2018. Uh, what they have said is that right now the government uh, uh, stake is between 55% uh, anywhere above 55%. Uh, so clearly uh, they have said that there is scope for government uh, to reduce its stake and infuse capital uh, in these banks. Uh, so we will see a lot of capital infusion that will happen because even in this financial we've seen one uh, tranche of capital infusion that has already happened. Another is expected by Jan, February next year. Uh, so we will see uh, that capital infusion until 2018 when they have to meet the Basel III requirements.